Is it a good thing to be a pig? Welcome to the world of pigs. Forget what you've heard about them being stupid, ugly, greedy or filthy. Some of the most pampered pigs in the world live in the USA. Since the dawn of piggery, they've had to exploit every opportunity around them. And those pigs are still at large today. Welcome to System Fail, the show where all warfare is based on deception. He diggity! He diggity! He diggity! He diggity! Oh, go, go, go! Yeah! Yo, he's smart as shit! Yo, he's smart as shit! I am your host, DDoS. And as global resistance to the conditions of late-stage capitalism has spread over the past several years, states have responded with fresh waves of repression, adapting and refining the existing pillars of social control to meet new challenges to their increasingly fragile authority. Look at him. Look at him. Look how dumb he looks. I want all y'all badge number too. I swear to God, I'm not playing. I want your badge number. I want your badge number because your badge number is about ready to pop off your feather. Ooh, y'all so lucky. If y'all took these badges off, I'll fire on all you right now, bro. Get your hands off me. I want your badge number too. In so-called Chile, despite the election of a new government composed of self-styled revolutionaries, Hoy, iniciamos un periodo de grande violencia y opresión. No revolution yet. <sighs> no, not yet. More than 200 participants of the 2019 uprising continue to languish behind bars. These new arrivals entered prisons already containing many long-standing anarchist and subversive prisoners, Marxist guerrillas, and captured Mapuche warriors. Las situaciones de indulto que el presidente Boric anunció terminaron siendo un poco un fraude. Fueron su estrategia para ganar votos, eh, considerando que ahora que fue electo se han hecho declaraciones de que no hay presos políticos. Se hizo un llamado a que el mes de mayo sea un mes combativo. On May 16th, two Mapuche political prisoners, Senecio Juan Chuyan and Daniel Cuepul, were transferred to a hospital on day 43 of their hunger strike. They also announced the beginning of a dry strike, demanding access to study and work programs. On May 24th, a group of 60 to 70 armed Mapuche warriors blocked a highway in Arauco after evicting a temporary carabinero station that had been set up to protect loggers on their territory. La presencia de los carabineros obviamente no es bienvenida porque cometían otro tipo de delitos. On May 20th, at a demonstration in Santiago demanding the release of political prisoners, the Pacos attacked a bicyclist and threw him over a steep embankment onto a concrete landing four meters below. Two days later, comrades in Chile marched the 13th anniversary of the death of Mauricio Morales a combatant who was killed when the bomb he had intended for a prison guard training facility exploded prematurely. This year, a group calling itself the Mauricio Morales Revolutionary Cells observed the date by carrying out an explosive attack against Full Clean Security, a private security company operated by a former cop named Claudio Crespo Guzman, who is particularly hated for blinding 21-year-old protester Gustavo Gatisa in both eyes during the 2019 revolt. This was followed by a week of action calling for the release of subversive prisoner Marcela Villarroel, which saw fury demonstrations and clashes with the police. Un ataque explosivo fue lo que ocurrió. 
un camión terminó calcinado tras un nuevo ataque incendiario. Estudiantes intentan vulnerar y atacan la municipalidad de Santiago. Meanwhile, comrades have been facing increased repression in Germany. On April 26, a series of coordinated raids was carried out against the anarchists in Munich. Overseen by Germany's political police, the K-43, tactical teams raided four apartments, an anarchist library, and a print shop. Three people were arrested under Section 129, the country's organized crime law, which has become a favorite tool of the German state for dealing with anarchists and anti-fascists. According to the search warrants, the so-called criminal organization in question was an anarchist publication called Zundlumpen. During the raid on the print shop, police confiscated thousands of anarchist books, pamphlets, and newspapers, along with a risograph machine, a letterpress, and any other supplies they could find. Ich bin Schwei. Du bist Schwei. Ich bin Schwein. Du bist Schwein. Schwein. Du bist Schwein. Fick die Cops. Fick die Cops. Fick die Cops. Die sind Polen Schweine. Fick die Cops, Alter. Fick die Bullen. Scheiß drauf. Fickt euch. Two nights later. Anarchists set fire to a train relay antenna in an affluent suburb outside of Leipzig. A communique for the arson expressed solidarity with the comrades arrested in Munich and framed the action as an attack on Germany's arms industry aimed at disrupting the export of military hardware. Scheiße. And in Greece, anarchist prisoner Yanis Mikhaidis announced a hunger strike on May 24th to demand his freedom. Yanis has served eight and a half years in prison on the basis of trumped up charges. After being denied release in December, he was sent back to pretrial custody, where he remains trapped in an indefinite state of legal and bureaucratic limbo. In a letter to supporters on May 24th, he outlined his reasons for the hunger strike and shared his hope that it would help to trigger fresh resistance to the state and capital. I am not seeking anyone's interest as a victim of state repression, but as an active social and political subject to seize my condition of imprisonment as part of the state's and capital's attack on those who consciously stand against them. And finally, knowing that it is possible that this strike may be the last part of my journey, I wish to give it precisely that dimension which expresses me as a whole. The struggle for the freedom of one, the struggle for the freedom of all, until the destruction of the last cage. And finally, things have been heating up in so-called Atlanta. Oh, shit. On May 17th, a joint task force made up of local, county, state, and federal police raided the Wee Launi Forest in an effort to clear out an encampment of land defenders. Eight people were arrested and accused of throwing rocks and Molotov cocktails at police. The operation was aimed at paving the way for the construction of Cop City, a sprawling new police training facility being built on the grounds of a former prison plantation and forced labor camp. The planned development, which has been paired with the construction of a massive film studio, calls for the destruction of hundreds of acres of ecologically sensitive land in the largest urban forest in the so-called United States. Those fighting the proposed construction have employed a mix of traditional land defense tactics, such as tree sits, tree spikes, and sabotage of construction equipment, along with marches, letter writing campaigns, phone zaps, and targeted vandalism against contractors and the homes of corporate executives. Who the f that was that? Uh, uh, I'm stuck. Where are you, killer girl, have ya? Solidarity actions have also taken place in cities across the country, including a spate of attacks on Bank of America and Wells Fargo, who provide funding for the Atlanta Police Foundation. Despite the arrests, Land defenders have vowed to keep up the pressure. 
We will make it take as long as possible and make it as expensive as possible for them to copy and paste their dead world onto a zone of life, and we're going to win. We have now reached the end of this episode of System Fail. Our condolences go out to the friends and family of Ruel Rodriguez Nunez, who was shot and killed on May 7th while carrying out a brazen daytime Molotov attack on a police station in Raleigh, North Carolina. You can support Submedia by buying some gear, making a one-time donation, or signing up to be a monthly sustainer on our website, sub.media. A big thank you to our newest sustainers, Sean and Alex. Be sure to follow us on your favorite corporate data mining platform by searching for Submedia. Or better yet, sign up to our mailing list to get each new episode delivered directly to your inbox. Godspeed, humans. Mm -hmm.